Welcome back to Kavanaugh's Corner. Today in the show I'm going to be talking about a movie that uh, came out recently exclusively on Disney+. Plus. The uh, movie's been getting a lot of press and uh, I had uh, an, a, a hankering to see this movie. Uh, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Um, I, you know, I, I am a big Disney fan so uh, I was eager to see this film and uh, the movie of course I'm talking about is Mulan. The uh, 2020 live-action remake uh, just came out last week, and uh, I wanted to talk about it because it is kind of a controversial film. I've heard a lot of different opinions about this from uh, other critics and friends of mine, and uh, uh, I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to give you my opinion on the film. Again, I won't be uh, spoiling anything in the film, uh, but I will be mentioning a plot point in the film that may uh, affect your viewing uh, again it's I don't consider it a giant spoiler it's a very minor one but I will let you know when I mention it in case you do not want to hear it so Mulan uh, became available uh, about a week ago or so uh, on Disney Plus and it actually was weird because you have to pay about 30 bucks for this movie uh, but once you buy it on your Disney Plus profile um, you can view it as many times as you want. Everybody else uh, that's on your account can view it as well. So it's basically a one-time charge, and then you can watch it as many times as you want. You know, I really like the original Mulan. Um, I actually saw it in theaters when I was very young. I saw it with my mom. Um, I think I was probably like six or seven or something when it came out. Uh, and I, um, you know, I enjoyed it. I really liked the movie. And years and years later, the movie is kind of... Uh, grown a cult following really. I liked it when I was a kid. I wasn't crazy about it, but rewatching it now as I'm getting older, I actually enjoy it more uh, than I did when I was a kid. So it's kind of an interesting film, but I was wondering, you know, how are they going to turn this Disney um, movie into a somewhat serious war film? Because when I saw uh, interviews from the directors and writers uh, of the film, they said that, you know, this is a very different take, it's a much more serious, more traditional type film. And I was kind of curious how they were going to do that. And overall, really, the big difference here is that there's no musical numbers, uh, Mushu is not in it, so you don't get no animated Eddie Murphy. Um, you don't get any of that this time around. However, there is a mystical phoenix that is in the film, kind of in place of Mushu, does not ever speak. But uh, the Phoenix is kind of there to kind of push the plot along and point Mulan in the right direction. And uh, I thought that was an interesting thing. But basically the plot is pretty much the same as the original film. So if you've seen the original Mulan, you kind of know what to expect from this. Uh, I kind of wish that they had changed a little more. There are a few things changed here and there. There's a uh, magical witch involved. Um, again, I guess that's more realistic than a talking little miniature dragon. I don't know. Uh, I guess it provides for more action scenes. Again, I don't know. Uh, I thought it was an interesting character, but didn't really do anything for me. And I think that's really the issue with this movie, is that this movie really didn't do anything for me. I didn't get any kind of excitement out of it. Uh, it didn't really amaze me in any way. Uh, I thought really, honestly, the acting in the film was not really great. I thought the uh, the actress that plays Mulan, her name is, I think it's Yifei Liu. Uh, Li, Yifei Liu, I think that's it. Um, again, I apologize if I'm, if I'm mispronouncing her name. Uh, but the actress that plays Mulan, uh, she kind of does the best that she can, but is not really given much. And that's pretty much every actor in the film. Uh, the gentleman that plays... Uh, the father in the film also, again, very good actor. I've seen him in many things. Doesn't really do much uh, in the movie. He kind of, again, they're all kind of doing the best they can. Uh, the actress that plays Mulan almost remains completely expressionless throughout the entirety of the film. And I don't know if that was just bad directing, if she just, you know, again, she's been in other things, so she knows how to act. 
Uh, if that was a conscious decision, I do not know, but she does not really emote very much in the film. And I understand her characters, you know, she's trying to be tough and fearless and a warrior, and I get that, but, I mean, there's really not much going on in this general vicinity throughout the entirety of the film. Uh, and it's kind of too bad because I think, you know, the movie could have benefited from a little more uh, emotion. Uh, there's, there is some emotion in the film, but there's not a whole heck of a lot. I think, honestly, the, the biggest defense in the film is, uh, and this is the thing I was talking about when I say there's not really a spoiler, it's a very minor thing, uh, but I have to mention it in order to talk about uh, a big problem that the film has. So if you're not interested in seeing it, um, please, you know, skip to the end of the video to hear my final thoughts. Um, but basically I'm going to talk about the, the biggest underlying issue with the film, and it's that the uh, character development in this film, in terms of Mulan, is completely destroyed. Uh, they ruin it. And that is because of the implementation of Chi. And Chi is, uh, on paper, like your inner power. The way they do this movie is that right from the get-go, it's said, and I mean literally the very first scene of the film, the father of Mulan talks about how she was born with an immense amount of Chi. And because of this, she is this ultimate badass, this undefeatable, like, insane John Wick level, like, heightened skill person. And because of that, the movie has no drama to it. The movie has no character development. Mulan makes no improvement through the film. She is what she is from the very beginning to the very end. She does not improve. She does not decline. She learns a lesson. But that also takes away from the original point of the film, of the original film, that was trying to be conveyed that it's not about, you know, who you are. You, you can be whoever you want to be. In this film, it's like, just be yourself. You're great. Don't change anything. You don't have to change anything. Um, just, you know, you're great just the way you are. You never have to improve. You never have to do anything. Just, just be great. And I don't like that message. I really don't like that message. It's not a great message to tell people. Um, because not everybody is perfect. It's like, you're perfect. You must be perfect. And that's a, that's a crappy message, honestly. I think it's a really crappy message. And I don't think it's one that, that is, uh, a good lesson to be taught. I think... If, you know, you're great and you're perfect, nobody's born absolutely perfect. Um, nobody. I'm sorry. There's no one on planet Earth that is born this perfect person that never needs to change or anything. Just be yourself and that's it. And I understand, you know, being yourself is, is a great thing, but they're not really going about it the right way here. And because of that... Uh, because, you know, Mulan is this unstoppable badass from the beginning of the film, uh, there really is no de development. There's nothing. Uh, the movie goes nowhere. And uh, you don't even get anything out of her training sequences because there is no training. She just shows off. And I found that to be such a, such a stupid thing um, from the creators of these film, from this film. Uh, that she's just automatically amazing at everything and, you know, just needs to be herself. Yeah, I don't understand that. I, I never will understand the choice that they made for this film. The best thing about the movie, honestly, in my opinion, was the cinematography. I thought the movie looked stunning. The movie looked beautiful. Uh, I mean, in certain parts, it looked exquisite. It looked like a painting, almost. It was gorgeous. Uh, I watched it again, you know, on Disney Plus. It streams in Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. The Dolby Vision HDR in this was incredible. Beautiful, beautiful, bright colors, deep dark blacks. Didn't really have any issues with the stream that I watched. Uh, the Dolby Atmos sound was great. I thought the audio and the music score was wonderful. Uh, the other issue I had with the film is that there are some really crappy editing choices. Um, I thought some of the fight sequences were really edited in a in a kind of wacky way um 
There's one scene in particular that has an edit in it where Mulan moves from one piece of geography to another in a split second and it's never explained how time worked in that moment. Like she defied the laws of, of, of time and space and everybody stopped doing what they're doing for however long it took for her to get from one place to the other. Weird stuff like that is, is in this film as well. And uh, honestly, I, I cannot recommend paying $30 for this film. I, I can't. Like, it is, it is a movie that is entertaining enough. Uh, maybe if it was $10, bucks, uh, you know, I could understand paying that. I think that's a, a valid price for this movie. But um, sadly, they made a sucker out of me. And uh, if you haven't bought the film yet, don't. Wait until December when it comes out for free. Because um, it's definitely not worth $30, in my opinion. Watch the original. It's on Disney+. Plus. If you're paying for the subscription already, the 7 bucks, 8 bucks, whatever it is, if you're paying for it, um, you know, watch the original. That's free. Uh, way better movie. Uh, <laughs> everything about it, better. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the worst remakes that Disney has done yet. Uh, I'm giving it a 2.5 out of 5. The only reason why it gets a two and a half is because I enjoyed the, the look of the film. I enjoyed the action sequences were exciting enough. But as a movie as a whole, it's got a lot of problems. And uh, I just can't recommend you paying $30 for this movie. Um, I regret it, honestly. It's one of the biggest regrets in, uh, in my recent movie-going life. So uh, as it's all for today for Kavanaugh's Corner, again, if you like this review, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and uh, help me recoup my $30. I'm just kidding. I'm just, ki <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, until next time, please stay safe and of course, take it easy.